Hey guys, how's it going? It's Rob Sutton. We're back here with another review today. As you can tell, I have a lot of devices hooked into one laptop, whether it be a light bar, flash drives, external hard drives. There's a lot to just plug into several different ports on a laptop. So what we're gonna try to do today is actually clean all this up by using a 13-in-1 Solor USB-C dock. So let's get at it. So before we get into the review portion of this and what I actually liked about this USB docking station and the limitations and the things I didn't like about it, let's go ahead and see which ports this actually provides you to your laptop or your desktop when you hook it up. So it has two HDMI ports, one that is rated for 4K at 60 hertz and the other that's rated for 4K at 30 hertz. You also have one display port that is at 4K at 60 hertz. You have a gigabit ethernet port that supports up to a thousand megabytes a second. You have two USB-C data power delivery ports that support up to 10 gigabit transfer speeds with a 100 watt input and an 85 watt output. You also have one USB 3.1 port that supports up to 10 gigabits per second. You have three USB 3.0 ports that support up to five gigabits per second. And you have two USB 2.0 ports that support up to 480 megabytes per second. And one 3.5 millimeter audio jack that supports both mic input and speaker output. So as you can see, this thing has a lot of ports to hook up your peripherals and your monitors to get everything up and running. I obviously use the USB 2.0 ports for my keyboard and mouse, and then hook up my faster hard drives, flash drives, and everything else to those USB-C and 3.0 ports. There's plenty of connectivity to get everything that I need done from my laptop to the screen and other peripherals all here in one packet. Now, I will also provide a link down below. This is not compatible with every single laptop, and you really need to look at the list and make sure that you have a compatible laptop with this unit before buying. All right, so let's talk about what I liked about this unit first. First is the triple monitor setup. You can hook this up to a laptop and actually spread across three different monitors, which is pretty cool for a unit of this size. The second thing I liked is the amount of USB ports. I have a ton of peripherals that I have to hook up to my laptop or my desktop, so having the ability to do all that within one unit is a huge plus. I have a USB-C connection for my external hard drives. I have two USB connections for my keyboard and mouse. I have the light on top of the monitor. I have all kinds of stuff just plugged in all over the place here. So being able to do that within one unit with that many connections, is a huge plus. This also has that headphone jack port that's good for microphones and headphones, which makes it so that I have a single connection to my laptop when it comes to all of my USB stuff and my headphone jack and display. So it really cleans up the overall connections to my laptop. And that brings me to the other thing, which that 100 watt in to that 85 watt out makes it so this could be my single connection to the laptop for both charging and all the data transfer between the monitors and my peripherals, which makes it a really nice single connection that also charges my laptop at the same time. This is also a nice slim design and a really compact package for the amount of ports it has and the compatibility. Now, this is also not a very expensive dock, which is a really budget price point for something with this many connections. Now, let's talk about some of the things I didn't really like about the unit itself. One, it's the really short cable. When you're using this dock with your laptop in a desk format, you can't get it that far away from your computer, which ends up creating kind of a cluttered mess really close to your computer. I would really prefer more of a powered standalone setup for a USB dock that has this many connections so I can hide those wires and have just one wire coming out and connect to my laptop for a cleaner overall look. And then the next thing, it doesn't have an SD card reader or a micro SD card reader. And for a USB dock that has this much connectivity, I really would have liked to seen that as an option. Now keep in mind, they do have other ones on their website that do offer that as an option. So if it is a make or break deal, you do have other products that they provide that you can do that with. But when they sent in this one for review, it was something that I saw that I would have liked to see. And then lastly, the ability to run multiple displays on this dock is its real selling point. However, the refresh rate limitation really runs into a bunch of problems when I have to run multiple 4K monitors. While 60 Hertz is plenty serviceable, I still run into a problem where this MacBook Pro is actually compatible with 120 hertz displays. So I can't run 4K 120 through this dock even if I'm only hooking up one monitor. Then when you start hooking up multiple monitors, you get kicked down to 30 hertz at 4K and I really don't have any need for 1080 monitors at this house. So while I love the fact that you can hook up multiple monitors to one dock, I don't find 30 hertz really to be usable. So I find that I still end up plugging my display directly into my MacBook Pro to get my 120 hertz. And if I'm using multiple displays, I find that 
it's kind of difficult to use if you're gonna be limited at that 30 hertz option. All right guys, I wanted to step in here for a second and just tell you something I found out by just kind of switching some ports around. So what I ended up doing when I was putting everything back to the way I had it before is I actually put the HDMI back into the MacBook Pro and it automatically defaulted to having extended displays on the 4K display I have here on my external that's hooked up to the MacBook Pro and the MacBook Pro itself. So I'm essentially running three different displays off of this adapter. So what it's basically doing is using the internal HDMI port and then using the USB dock to actually power this third monitor. What that allowed me to do is actually have my 120 hertz refresh rate here on the LG C148 inch and a 4K display here next to it that is not mirrored. It is actually an extended display. It does get rid of that kind of glitch that you have because of Mac OS of not being able to extend the displays that are hooked up to the dock. So that is one more little trick that you could do with this USB dock, which you're essentially only using one port on the dock itself, but it does allow you to extend displays instead of having every single display that is hooked up to the dock being mirrored. So what's the bottom line on this Solaire 13-in-1 USB laptop dock? Well, it's great for being able to power your laptop. It's great for being able to hook up multiple USB devices because it has so many of those ports. And it's great for the fact that you can do your gigabit ethernet, headphones, and three monitors. So it allows a lot of versatility hooking up to your laptop. However, I find for my use, the inability to move it away from the laptop and create more room for a cleaner look and the fact that I run 4k monitors is a really limiting factor for me so I end up using it more of like a USB dock than I do for a triple monitor setup so guys I want to hear what you think down in the comment section below are you using something like this is the fact that it doesn't have an SD card reader a deal breaker what about the actual displays and if you're able to run those refresh rates I want to hear from you down in the comment section below if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up consider subscribing to Rob Sutton for more reviews like this in the future and until then on to the next one thanks guys see you